everybody. If you love to read, then follow my lead. It's S T O R Y T I M E. Story time with S A N D I. Story time, Sandy. Little readers, look, midnight's awake, and with such perfect timing too, because guess what I just found in the fireplace? A new story. Hey, midnight. I don't suppose you want to use your magic to help me and the little readers read this new book, do you? You do? Little readers, watch this. Ready, Midnight? Be sure to get all the pages. Yay! All right, Midnight, what story are we reading today? It's called... I am brave and unafraid, and it was written by Ariel Turover Cohen and illustrated by Ignazio G. Hmm, what do you think this story's about? Well, Midnight, let's turn the page so we can find out. Once upon a biscuit, there was a little boy. Wow, look at his bedroom. He must really like planets and the stars. And look, he even has a telescope. I bet he looks at the moon with that. The boy loved camping. He put on his backpack, grabbed his teddy bear marshmallow, and kissed his mommy, daddy, and sister goodbye. Then he wandered into the woods. The boy reached his most special camping spot, set up his tent, and built a fire. He roasted a marshmallow until it was big, puffy, and golden brown. All right, Midnight, turn the page. Then he ate it all up. Arm, 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 arm. <laughs> the boy sat back in his chair, licked his fingers, and joyfully sang. I am out here in the woods all alone. I didn't even bring my telephone. I'd love to see the stars, the sky, the moon. I love to softly sing my little tune. The boy gazed up at the twinkling stars and found Orion's belt, his very favorite constellation. He stood up tall like Orion the hunter. He drew back his bow and arrow and shouted, release, fly, land. He did it again and again and again. Eventually, the boy yawned loudly, rubbed his eyes, and headed off to bed. He unzipped his tent, slid inside his snuggly sleeping bag, and fell fast asleep. As he was sleeping, he heard... Oh no! What did he hear? Roar! The boy pulled the sleeping bag up over his head and shook. What was that noise? Was it a lion? No. Was it a tiger? No. Was it a b -b 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 bear? Is a bear out there? <laughs> what do you think, little readers? Do you think there's a bear out there? Let's turn the page and find out. He took a deep breath in and slowly exhaled out. The boy peeked through the slit of his sleeping bag. He looked left. He looked right. He didn't see anything, so he sang himself back to sleep. Do you remember the song? I am out here in the woods all alone. I didn't even bring my telephone. I'd love to see the stars, the sky, the moon. I love to softly sing my little tune. 
as he was sleeping, he heard... Roar! The boy pulled the sleeping bag up over his head and stayed as still as possible. What was that noise? Was it a lion? No. Was it a tiger? No. Was it a b -b 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 bear? Is a bear out there? <laughs> he silently counted. One, two, three. The boy peeked through the slit of his sleeping bag. He listened. He heard the wind. Whoosh. He heard the frogs. Crow. He didn't hear anything else, so he sang himself back to sleep. Little readers, this time, sing with me. I am out here in the woods, all alone. I didn't even bring my telephone. I love to see the stars, the sky, the moon. I love to softly sing my little tune. As he was sleeping, he heard... Roar! The boy pulled the sleeping bag up over his head and imagined he was invisible. What was that noise? Was it a lion? No. Was it a tiger? No. Was it a b -b 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 bear? Is a bear out there? <laughs> what do you think, little readers? Do you think there's a bear out there? Midnight, let's turn the page and find out. He thought and thought about what to do next. The boy peeked through the slit of his sleeping bag. He saw a large shadow moving outside of his tent. The boy courageously repeated to himself, I am brave and unafraid. I am brave and unafraid. I am brave and unafraid. The boy bravely stepped out of his sleeping bag confidently unzipped his tent and stood face to face with his big puffy golden brown marshmallow. Oh my goodness, there was a bear outside. His teddy bear. <laughs> oh. The boy rubbed his eyes looked down at Marshmallow and snuggled him tightly. The boy yawned a big yawn, <sighs> closed his eyes, and fell fast asleep smiling. <gasps> well, thanks for reading with us, little readers. I hope you liked I Am Brave and Unafraid, written by Ariel Trover Cohen and illustrated by Ignacio G. See you next time. Done. I hope you had fun with S T O R Y T I M E Story Time with S A N D I Story Time Sandy. Oh, and if you missed the last story or you just want to read it again, you can click that video right there. Go on, click it. And if you haven't already done so, be sure to hit subscribe. That way, you'll be sure not to miss any other stories that Midnight finds for us to read. Goodbye, little readers.